Okay. So, tea time. Today I am drinking cherry bubbly instead of tea because it's what I had. It's quick and easy. The topics for today are going to be asking for help, opening up to people, lost dog that I found, and bathing the puppies. Stick around. This will be a good test to see how good the windscreen on my mic works, because uh, it's a little windy. We'll see how bad that gets picked up. This whole video might be a wash. We'll see. But wanted to talk about asking for help and like knowing when to do it, and the hardest part actually doing it. You know, it's, I don't know, maybe it's just how I was raised, but we don't really ask for help in my family. And it's so funny, my grandpa would always say stuff like, if you need anything, just ask. But at the same time, he raised us to not ask. So, he'd always offer stuff, but we would never take it. Because just how we were raised, that's how our family operated. Um, but I kind of learned an important lesson with asking for help and actually going through with it. Uh, I was in debt. I struggled, so my GPA was low, and I lost my financial aid. And so I used my credit card to pay for my school, which was a terrible idea. And uh, I owed a lot of money. And I didn't want to ask for help, and I just put it off, and the stress ate away at me. And it was really rough. But eventually my family found out through their nosiness, but I'm grateful that they found out. And I asked for help, and they helped me. 
uh, we sat down and we called the bank and we got it sorted out it's gonna take some some time and some money to fix but it's fixable it's not just like this looming problem that it was it's actually got a solution all because I asked for help and the hardest part of doing anything seems to be just doing it it's really easy to have the idea to do it to think like this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get up every day and I'm gonna film or or I'm gonna I'm gonna make this or cook every day but actually doing it is really the challenge of it <laughs> you gotta just Nike it you know and help is kind of the same way I, I do that with math part of why my grades were so bad was I just didn't ask for help when I needed it you know I always offered help whenever I could to anybody but I never asked for help I don't know it is what it is kind of learning how to fix that and changing that part of me will probably do a lot of good back over to the desk so next topic one of the hardest things that i've had to learn aside from asking for is opening up to people that's kind of what this whole video series is it's just me talking about what's on my mind what's going on in my life the, the void i'm just putting it out there and you know some people will watch it a lot of people won't but it's very vulnerable and it's very just out there like like i stood in the sea and put a message in a bottle and just threw it out there and someone might find it probably not there's so many other messages floating around the sea, so much crap just littering it that you gone. But it's been kind of hard knowing where the limits are. Because once it's opened, it's kind of hard to close some stuff and to not talk about certain things. Like, I generally just don't talk about things that don't directly involve me. Like, there's stuff that has happened in recent times with my family that I'm not going to talk about here. Probably ever. I might eventually, but at the moment it just doesn't feel right to talk about some of these. They've majorly impacted my life, but it's not my story to tell. I, so I don't talk about them. But knowing or just figuring out how to open that door was quite difficult. Um, it took years of making videos that nobody watched before I figured out how to open up properly. Because starting out, I like put on a character and I was very high energy. It was exhausting. You know, I would make, you know, eight hours worth of episodes in a session, edit them all up and then schedule them for like the, the week or the month or whatever. And nobody watched them i mean like actually nobody like zero views and i did that for like two or three whole let's plays of just no views with me spilling my guts with nobody watching and it was exhausting it was so tiring to put on this character for so long and then i tried to do it without the character and still same problem it was just slightly different it was less exhausting, but still it was soul crushing to have nobody watch. And I think the difference now is that I'm not doing Let's Plays. Um, I'm still opening up. I'm still going to just say whatever I want to say. But I think because it doesn't have insert game here in the title, a picture of a game, it's slightly more likely to be clicked on still. And that shouldn't matter, because I've said in a previous video that I'm making these videos not for viewers or even for myself. I'm making them so I can be proud of them. So in like 10 years, I can look back. That's something I did for a while. Um, 
But still, having somebody watch, even just a few people, like I'm getting tens of views. My Linux videos are doing great. They're getting like 40 or 50 views a piece. But just having somebody there, leaving comments and actually watching, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. And it makes a big difference to my motivation to keep doing these. Um, I'm going to keep doing it. Next topic, uh, we found a dog. Uh, the dog found us. My my dad was in the backyard in the alley doing something to his truck or something, and this dog walked up. It's the second time we've had this happen, the same dog. The dog's name is Rufus. I'm going to put a picture of it. I didn't get any video of it. But it's this really shaggy, slobbery dog. He just walks up, like, what are you doing? And so we call the owners. They don't answer. We hold on to the dog for, like, an hour. We finally get a hold of them, and they come pick him up. But he's just this dopey little dog. And not little, he's huge. But he just wandered around the backyard. Just do do do. This adorable lobbery mess. Um Yeah. I'm glad we found their owner, his owner. But just interesting how he just walks up. Not afraid of anything, just friend. What you doing? Got food? I'm hungry. Brings me on to my last topic. We bathed Dixie and Elvis today. Um, I didn't get any video of Elvis being bathed because I was too busy drawing Dixie. I'll put the footage of both of that up. Uh, she is almost too big for the sink already. She's only a couple of months old and she's outgrown the sink. I think she's hard to keep in there. Like wrestling with a salmon, <laughs> like a giant salmon. You're like trying to wrangle it and stop it from like forming out of the sink and running around all wet um but we got it done she's adorable as always sweetest but man it was messy i'm wearing the same shirt i was wearing then and it was wet it was like soaked whenever i was trying to dry her off on the couch i don't know this is going to be a shorter one still aside from the long me walking and talking uh, the actual desk session is going to be shorter than usual. Got a bit of a headache. Not feeling up to a longer talk. But, I don't know, I wanted to talk about some things that just happened, like thing in the previous segment. Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask for help. See you.